Today, we are going to talk about the incredible ChatGPT Auto Builder, which builds complete multi page apps from scratch. I use it to build this brick breaker. Here we go. Oh, I'm really not that good at it. This space shooter keeps track of the score. This SQL, TK Inter SQL management app, which creates a DB and manages it through SQL commands. And then a Wikipedia retriever, which actually uses Chat's complete GPT 3.5 Turbo to translate user query into a Wikipedia article and retrieves it and saves it to a text file. Let's code some apps with it to see how it works. Before we begin, I want to mention Echohive AI Academy at echohive.live. You can search 100 plus free coding videos I have created using AI to build AI powered apps. You can instantly search all the videos and find the code download links. Code files for this project will be available for Patreon supporters, along with 90 plus other project files. Link will be in the description. It is designed to create complex apps very quickly. We are going to use GPT 3.5 Turbo. You can change the model. And you, we have a multi line input. After we've entered, we're just going to say done. This utilizes two models one is the instruction generator, the other one is the coder or the worker model. We are using function calling. So the first one creates a guidance along with the functions that are supposed to be created. And we have already created our HTML file. We are going to create a canvas animation. So with a lot of circles bouncing around dynamically, we are waiting for the script file. It has written the JavaScript file and it is working more or less as intended, along with the mouse click that disperses the circles. The auto builder created the index.html script.javascript file for JavaScript, 150 lines of code and style. Keep in mind that we did use GPT 3.5 Turbo. Creating apps with this is very cheap. If you want, if you have access to GPT 4, you can just simply say MMM, click, and then we switch to GPT 4. And again, and we switch back to 3.5 Turbo 16K. If you want to iterate on it, you can do it multiple ways. I'm just going to redo the instructions again. It pays more attention to later instructions from the user. So now it's creating again the index.html. It's going to create the script as well. Because this animation seems to get stuck here and there. So let's see if we can fix it. Okay, we have our new script file. And this actually seems to work so much better. Also the button click seems to work very smoothly now we can actually uh, work with this and actually build on it i'm going to say at collision the circles when circles collide they change direction currently there is no collision so we have our new instructions and we are only instructing the model to write the script.js using function calling it creates all these files under a project folder you can delete these files and start a new project or restart the program and continue from an older project as well just make sure that you are using the project folder as the default folder for the app. We did get our animation back and actually they do collide, but the movement is slowed down. In this case, this is very cool actually. I am clicking with my mouse to control them. I'm instructing to say that the circles are very slow, make them move at a constant speed. It is instructing to write all three files again. So beauty of the auto builder is that It'll create as many files as is necessary, as it deems necessary. So you can create multi-file projects very easily. So I'm uh, observing some erratic behavior, but they are definitely colliding. GPT 3.5, do follow the instructions very well with this app, actually due to, the way, due to the way it was built, how it was built, but I have asked it another time to have a better animation for us. And here we go. And the third time, it seems to work pretty wonderfully and they are colliding with one another as well so it took me three iterations i actually added the last instruction to the end of the original instruction as well uh, this is very fast with 3.5 turbo very cheap as well and uh, you can build iteratively and switch to gpt4 anytime you like let's move on to another example i have cleared our project folder and i'm instructing it to create four different files basic intermediate advanced and main.py files, three of them which will include basic, intermediate, and advanced mathematical functions, and main.py file is supposed to import them and print their outputs. We have our basic file with add, subtract, multiply, and divide, intermediate with power, 
like that power square root factorial advanced with exponential logarithm and main.py file which imports from all and then actually prints them as well this is all done using gpt 3.5 turbo sometimes the gpt 3.5 turbo will struggle and you'll have to prompt it again like i said you can use the same prompt or try to use a different prompt to get it to do what you'd like it's very fast I also neglected to import math on the advanced one i've just added it myself and if we run the main.py file we get the result of all the imported functions from the three different files so gpt 3.5 from a simple prompt was able to create four different files which interact with one another i have again cleared the project folder let's try to create a space shooter game in which the player controls a square with arrow keys player can shoot projectiles with space bar enemies arrive from the top continuously if the player and enemies come in contact it's game over let's start trying with gpt 3.5 turbo and if we run into difficulty we'll switch to gpt4 here's our guidance like design player control shooting enemy generation and our function call operations are defined here we have already created an index file with a probably a canvas element with a game.js gpt 3.5 makes a mistake while referring to the javascript file in the html usually i'm pretty sure it's going to return a script so just keep that in mind we just might have to change it manually. Yeah, it is going to write a script.js file, which it's currently working on. You can actually start this here on the side. It actually, GPT 3.5 returned quite a bit of JavaScript code, but the shooter game is not working currently. I have opened this in my browser using live preview, and I'm getting this error. Let's try to give it back to it, see if it'll fix it for us. I'm just going to paste the server and say that. Okay, actually, it's the second time around. It seems to have worked out. Maybe the collision system is not working, but this took about two tries with 3.5. Leave the shoot. If I can shoot a red enemy, let's see. Hopefully, that at least the projectiles are working. Oh, yeah, good. So, this took two attempts and a total of maybe one minute. We can build on it, obviously. Here we can save more in full screen, for example. Seems to work well. So I'm attempting to prompt it again. Add score for enemies destroyed. Detect player enemy collisions, which leads to game over. And we have our new guidance. Enemies and collisions are added there. More prominently, handle collisions. So we're going to get a new script file. Let's see what happens. We are still using GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K. Again, I was getting an error message in the console. I've copied it and pasted it back in. Let's see what happens. We are still creating collisions and score. Hopefully this time it should work. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's actually giving us a score of 10. Let's see if it is detected. Yeah, see if we collide now it's game over. So this is really lovely. It's working. It took us about three or four attempts, a total of two, three minutes. By the way, for previewing your HTML applications, JavaScript applications, you can use the live server to launch it in your browser, or you can use actually live preview by Microsoft, which then allows you to view your applications right here on the side like this. So let's talk about the code for a minute. Like I said, please check out Echo AI Academy. You can search all my videos there, 140 plus free videos, echohive.live. And the code download link will be available for Patreon supporters, along with 90 plus other project files, such as the other autocoders version 4. I have quite a lot of interesting projects and, and their code downloads here. I'm just going to review the code pretty quickly. We have three functions, read file, write file, and delete file and the function descriptions for those. We actually don't want to read files as we automatically feed them. I just left it there anyway. And we have a long prompt. See, we have an instruct model and a coder model. And we are using the project folder. We have quite a long instructor system message with a one-shot example. And this provides guidance uh, along with what operations should take place. Because if you've dealt with function calling, you might have already 
figured out that function calling doesn't work perfectly, so this was my attempt at making it more deterministic. So we get multi-line user input, allowing the user to change the model if they so choose. And we get the user instructions, and we get a instruction guidance from the first model. This, this, I don't allow this model to be changed, but you can change it in the code if you like. And we have a worker system message. We feed it dynamically, the guidance, and also in the user message, the type of the user input and which file name it's currently working on. You can change the coder model, obviously, from the user input. Then we try to parse arguments because especially 3.5 can return some unparsable responses. So we try to handle that with parse arguments. And then essentially we check the functions and run it. It's, it's quite a lot going on here, but like I said, the code will be available at Patreon. If you like the content, please can subscribe. I will be updating this code regularly. I want to build on it. I'll also do some live streams on this, testing it, maybe comparing it to the other autocoders I've created. If you want to get notifications, feel free to subscribe and turn on the, I believe, the bell button to get the notifications. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.